We'll need some coffee for this one. So something I get asked about a lot is nursing or respiratory. Respiratory or nursing. I've spoken to people that are already nurses considering going into respiratory therapy or are currently in nursing school considering going that way and vice versa. RTs that are considering going into nursing or respiratory therapy students that are considering switching over and majoring in nursing. So something I want to make really clear before I get started at all. Both professions are amazing professions and they are both really important parts of any healthcare team. So whether you're in nursing or respiratory, especially when these two departments work together, that is when you're going to find a huge benefit for any patient that comes across their path. So both are very important on their own, but if they come together and work together, that is when you're going to see really amazing things happen for your patients. Now, both of these degrees are two-year degrees. They are both extremely hard programs, so don't go into one thinking it is going to be easier than the other, or that you are going to not have to study, not have to read, not have to do the same amount of work in one than the other, because you're going to set yourself up for failure. Now, again, I've spoken with people on both sides, some people that have done both programs and thought one was easier than the other, but that depends on you, your learning capabilities, your experiences, what subjects you find easier than others. Everyone's going to have a different opinion on this. Something that I might find extremely difficult, the person next to me, it's going to be a breeze for them. And vice versa, something I find very easy, the person on my other side might think it's incredibly difficult. So that really is a person by person basis. And keep in mind, either program, you're going to have to sacrifice your free time, your two years or four years, whichever you're going for an associate's or a bachelor's degree, they have the same requirements for entrance. Your whole life is going to be consumed by the program. So again, don't go into this thinking one will be easier than the other because you'll be sorely disappointed. Now, as I mentioned before, they generally start out both with an associate's degree. So nurses are going to focus on various organ systems and specific skills that go along with each organ system, and RTs are going to primarily focus on the cardiopulmonary system in the same amount of time that nurses have to learn almost every organ system in the body. So it really just depends, even though you're only focusing on the cardiopulmonary system and respiratory therapy, you have to go into it so deeply that it doesn't make it easier because you're going into physics, mechanical ventilation, physiology, various equations. So again, although you are focusing on less systems, you dive much deeper into them. And same thing with nursing, it is very difficult to learn so many organ systems in such a short period of time. You're going to face challenges in either program, either way you go. So both careers have opportunities for advancement. They're different opportunities, of course, but you need to make sure what you are planning on going into. If you decide to go into teaching or if you really want to end up in research, you can do that in both careers. In nursing, you may have more options to branch out to various specializations. Respiratory therapy does also have specializations, so you can definitely specialize in adult critical care, uh, pediatrics, neonates, PFTs, asthma, whatever you want to specialize in, that is still out there for you. People just don't talk about it as widely for some reason as they do with nursing. Do your research before you choose either program to see what you really want to do and make sure that you're going the right direction for yourself. Now, people do talk about pay. Everybody wants to know about pay and I'm not going to talk about pay here because it varies so widely depending on what state you're in. Currently in my state, nurses and RTs make a very similar amount starting out. It's not a huge difference. But if you're stuck between two things, you should not let the money be your deciding factor because if your deciding factor is which one's going to be easier or which one am I going to make more money at, you may not be happy in that job because yes, you may make more money in one job, but are you really going to like what you're doing? Are you really gonna to wanna to show up to work and do that every day for a couple extra dollars an hour? You need to make sure you're going into an area that you love and that you're passionate about and that you feel like you can make a difference in because that's what's going to keep you going back every day. I always hear people talking about 
nurses versus RTs and how there's like this weird divide between them. In the end, again, we're all teammates, we work together, and we have our own specializations. But when we bring these two departments together, that is when you see amazing things happen for your patients. If you're not scared to go up to a nurse and ask them, hey, what do you think about this? Or I'm curious about this. How about trying this in a respectful manner, of course? They'll do the same thing to you, and that's an opportunity to educate each other on each other's positions, as well as help your patient, because in the end, what we're all trying to do is help our patients. And again, I know I've talked about a couple of little things here, but no one's really going to know what is right for you, except for you. We all have different preferences. You have to think about what you are willing to do in your day-to-day -day life for a profession and what you are not. Is there anything that you can or cannot handle? And just make a list of pros and cons that you feel are about each profession and the things that they do and check it out and see which one is more appealing to you. Something else I always suggest to, to people when they ask also, if you haven't started a program yet, see if you can shadow a respiratory therapist or a nurse or even just interview people, talk to people that you know, make sure it's someone that is passionate about their job or loves their job. Get it from both sides because you do want to hear all of the pros and all of the cons. You don't want someone just telling you how amazing everything is all the time. And you also don't want someone that is completely negative and only focuses on the bad things of a profession. So again, I would suggest trying to talk to people that have been in the area for a while in your city or state specifically because a lot of things are going to change from city to city and state to state. Uh, attitudes, things that each profession is or is not allowed to do, so that's always a good place to start. But if you guys have any other questions or have anything to add to the conversation, definitely leave it in the comments down below. And again, you guys can always find me on Instagram, just breathe easy underscore SRT if you want to talk further about this, and I'd be more than happy to hear what you guys have to say. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. So both careers have, why am I clapping my hands?